on today's episode. Legacy Hunter. We are the backbone of America. We are not afraid of getting our hands a little dirty. We work hard for what we have. We are where scripture takes action. We are average Joes. Your land and our land are the hunting grounds. The Hunt Grounds is brought to you by Everett Chevrolet of Northwest Arkansas, Bedford Cameron Video, Morel Targets, Hook Line and Sinker Outdoors, and by these fine sponsors. Welcome back to The Hunt Grounds. On this week's episode, you get to go along with the gang as we go bowling and we go go-karting and you get to go on a once-in-a-lifetime hunt where me and Dad score on a double. I just want to know whose idea it is to come up with bowling in the dark, throwing large objects in the dark, doesn't seem safe. So while the girls are sitting back there sipping their lattes, we're over here racking up the points. Man, I love bowling. While the boys were sitting around drinking their lattes, we were racking up all the points. Yeah, how many strikes did we get? Well, I started with like four or five until they got the smart idea of trying to mess us up. Gutter balls? What are gutter balls? Maybe you should ask the pro staff. Me being an amateur bowler, Steve thought he could take advantage of that and created a little friendly competition where I'd bowl against him and the loser had to scream like a girl. But I, can't think straight when I said the, the loser of this has to bowl between their legs backwards and scream like a girl when they throw the ball. <laughs> All right, game one. Ready? And so I lost. So I had to scream like a girl in front of everybody. Scream like a girl. How do you scream like a girl? <laughs> <laughs> so cosmic bowling is really just a fancy way of saying, let's go bowl in the dark. Let's take this big, round, heavy object that could take somebody's leg out, and let's just throw it at pins. And every once in a while, it doesn't actually go towards the pins. Steve was a little bit scared a few times, but you know, it's what happens. Cosmic Bowling. Bam! Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> so despite what Anthony says, I can promise you I'm not scared of the dark. Hey, I remember stealing the ball from air whenever he was trying to bowl and completely freaking him out. It was awesome. Oh. 
Now, if that bowling wasn't enough, I had to go play some shoot 'em up games in the arcade. Hi, I'm Susie Everett with Everett Chevrolet, here with just one simple message. If you want a better way to buy a new Chevy, just come see us. You'll love the way we do business. Our customers have said it's the best car buying experience they've ever had. And we work hard to make sure every customer feels that same way. And so does Bo, although you might catch him taking a nap. Family owned, customer friendly, Everett Chevrolet in Springdale, I-540 at Elm Springs Road. Hey guys! Hey guys! VR videos at THG-TV.com Follow us on Twitter at THGTV Like us on Facebook as The Hunt Grounds Follow us on Instagram at THGTV When it comes to that shot of a lifetime, an archery becomes more than an obsession. And shooting is more than just a game. Perfect practice. We'll make perfect shots. Nobody beats Morel. Nobody. So here we go, we're in December. I've gone to the oral surgeon earlier that morning, had a tooth removed, some surgery done. I'm jacked up on medication, but we're gonna get the first snow of the year here in Arkansas. So jacked up on medicine or not, I've asked dad to go out to hunt with me. I got a nice buck coming in here. I'm looking to take a, a good buck with a gun. I told dad if he comes along, there's definitely gonna be some kind of deer to move through, hopefully a doe that he can take and fill one of his tags. So. You know, I'm in no condition to drive, so I asked him to drive, we hopped in the truck, and we headed out. I was set out to film Steve that evening, so we loaded the truck and we headed out. So we're having a lot of snow fall down. It's turning into winter wonderland. It's just a matter of time before we see some deer.
So we're in a blind on this hillside. It's overlooking this holler bottom. Got a nice eight point coming in. Not the buck I'm looking for. Dad doesn't know it, but I want to pass the gun on to him. Went out that evening and all the intent was just to film Steven and maybe take a doe. Steven saw a buck coming in and he didn't want to shoot it. So it was a nice buck and he asked me if I would. And I was like, heck yeah, we'll shoot it. Now dad dropped his buck, but we still got time before we lose too much shooting light. We're gonna sit in the blind and wait it out because I know I saw something else down that bottom. It might just be the buck I'm after. Well, it's snowing. I had some dental surgery done this morning. I had a tooth pulled and uh, we had a snow move in this afternoon. I knew the deer would be moving. Uh, I'm out here for myself, got dad behind the camera, but you know, that buck walked in, he was one of the shooters we had on camera. I got my sights set on a wider, more massive eight point. And we got dad to get him, we dropped him in his tracks, and we're gonna sit here till dark and see if we can get a double and get the other eight point that's here. So we'll just have to see what happens. Take what we can get. We have so many deer out here, we'll have more deer move in the area for sure. So we'll sit till dark. Hi, I'm Susie Everett, inviting you to come see the all-new 2014 Chevy Silverado at Everett Chevrolet. The all-new Silverado delivers power, performance, and style, with a great new look, a new interior, and more industry-leading features. Take a test drive and discover the difference. The all-new 2014 Silverado. Check it out today at your family-owned, customer-friendly dealer, Everett Chevrolet in Springville, I-540 at Elm Springs Road. Okay, good luck guys, shoot straight. I've been a guide and an outfitter for most of my life. I developed a scientific product called Nose Jammer. It's not a scent eliminator or a chemical spray. Nose Jammer has concentrated levels of vanillin and other organic compounds found in the woods you hunt. The smell jams the olfactory gland in an animal's nose, so all he smells is his natural environment. Vincent Productions, proud to be the post-production house of the Hunting Grounds. Providing audio, video, web, and design solutions in the Northwest Arkansas area and beyond. Visit us online at vincentprod.com. How do you save a life and find your best friend in one step? Adopt from your local animal shelter. Please donate food, bedding, or financial contribution to help their stay be a little bit better. Like us on Facebook for upcoming events and how you can help. When it comes to that shot of a lifetime. An archery becomes more than an obsession.
shooting is more than just a game. Perfect practice. We'll make perfect shots. Nobody beats Morel. Nobody. Here on the hunting grounds, we're all about showing you cost-effective techniques on how to grow bigger deer on smaller property and how to keep those deer on your property. If there's one technique that you should use on every size property, whether you're 15 acres or 600 acres, it should be to have a sanctuary area on your property. Now let me show you an example. This area behind me is already naturally a bedding area, but I just improved it. So I came in where we had a mature timber stand, did a select timber stand improvement, took out a lot of those non-desirable species, and even had to take out a few white oak and red oak out of this area. But what that did is that opened up the canopy, allowed that sunlight to penetrate through to the forest floor. Now we've got a lot of growth. Now this growth provides a great amount of shelter, a great bedding area where the deer can keep warmth all year long, but at the same time it's a year round food plot. A lot of people don't think of them as that, but this new growth is very tender, it's very digestible for the deer, and the deer really love it. So now you've gone in, you've created an area where they like to bed, they like to feed, you're going to hold them there on that area. Now this area isn't more than five acres on a 15 acre piece of property, but it makes sure the deer know they have a secure area where they aren't going to have any pressure any time of year. Because we don't trample through this area, we don't hunt this area, and it makes sure the deer are utilizing our piece of property and staying on it. Now there are other ways of creating a nice bedding area. You can do the hack and spray method and go through and hack and spray a herbicide that's going to kill those trees and leave them standing or you can come in and cut them down with a chainsaw. It just depends on if you're going to go through and prescribe burn in the next couple of years because if you have all that deadfall laying down it's going to create a hot burn. It might do more damage than good. So get out there and scout. Find where the deer are naturally bedding on your property. Improve that area and hold the deer on your property and not your neighbors. But we can't get on the same buck at the same time. I know the big one's there, but Steve can't see him and I can, so we're trying to get on it. So we're sitting there for a little bit. Dad sees what he thinks is a big buck. I look in that same direction, I see a small buck. I think he's losing his mind because I'm not seeing this buck that he's talking about. We're scrambling around this blind, going back and forth, trying to do some videotaping. And you know what? I finally saw the big buck. Here comes my opportunity. think we just pulled the devil yeah. all right well I think we just pulled the devil we're gonna have to go check it's a crazy hunt first snow this this winter here in Arkansas had a tooth pulled this morning passed on the gun to dad you know we decided to stick it out and I guess these two other bucks probably came in with this buck that dad took down and they stayed down in the bottom and I knew there was another deer there, but I didn't know what it was. Eventually, they kind of worked up. Dad thought he saw the big one, I saw the small one. We just weren't getting on the same buck. Finally, made it happen. That buck was a long ways off. I don't know what kind of video footage we got, but we just pulled our first double this year. So we're gonna take a look and see what we got. 
So after all that scrambling around, I finally managed to see this big buck. Took the shot, it looked like a good shot. I don't think he's gonna go very far, but dad didn't get him on camera. one he's actually really pretty yeah exactly really he is really nice we're sitting up there in that shooting blind and now my buck is upwards across that hillside so uh we didn't see mine run off so we're gonna go take a look and we'll we'll get back here with some pictures and video later looks like he stumbled he didn't i didn't see where he went but he's crashed right there i see a body cool just a second He's pretty though. It's a nine pointer. Yeah, you actually got a little on each side. Not bad. Smaller than my other one, I didn't figure it would be. But it works for a double. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm out to get everybody else one. Oh, we'll get him drug up the hill, load him back the truck. And we'll get some pictures and video once we get somewhere we can get them both together. Well, by the time we got the deer hauled out of that hauler, Dad and I were completely exhausted. It was a long stretch. There's no way to get any kind of four wheel or anything out. I had to manually drag them out just by ourselves. I was excited to get a double with my son. Of course, bucks ran to the bottom of the hauler and it was very steep, snowy, slick, and I'm in tennis shoes. Overall, I'm excited that I got to do a double with my son. Couldn't be more happy with tonight's outcome. Beautiful footage, beautiful deer, and just a great evening. So dad ended up not getting that buck on film, but you couldn't ask for a more perfect hunt. We got to hunt the first snowfall of the year here in Arkansas. Got to tag on a double 20 minutes apart. It was definitely a once in a lifetime hunt. The Hunt Grounds is brought to you by Everett Chevrolet of Northwest Arkansas. Bedford Cameron Video. Morel Targets, Hook Line and Sinker Outdoors, and by these fine sponsors. I had a really great time bowling with the THG family. It was great for me to get to know some of the ladies a little better from the THG family. It was also nice because Aaron had just joined the team recently, so I got to know him and Erica a little bit better, and Amber also. It was fun bowling with my children in the dark. That was a new experience for us. My favorite part of the night was definitely the go-karts. Uh, we kind of got in a little bit of trouble bumping and stuff, but hey, Rubin's racing, right? I think my favorite time of the night was laying some rubber down on the track. So Speed Racer on the go-karts was a little too much for me, so I slowed it down a bit. Well, we might have been exaggerating just a tad bit in how much we beat the boys. In all seriousness, we had a great time with family and friends. Yeah, not only did we just get to bowl, but we got to play games, do laser tag. But my favorite part would have to be the laser maze. We always have such a good time, and I can't wait for the next family event. And once again, to take down the boys. Yeah. I thought it was super cool. We ran into some fans that ended up being from Georgia. Here we are in Northwest Arkansas. Um, my absolute favorite thing about bowling with the THG family was seeing the guys interact with the children. My children, it's special to me to see them grow up around these Christian men and um, how they interact together and then seeing Steve with his nieces and that just touches my heart more than anything, just being able to see these men be beautiful examples of what Christian men are supposed to be. And so I had a great time. I'm ready to get back together and do it all again. We definitely had a great time bowling in the dark. It got a little sketchy at times. Got over to the go-kart track, bat got kicked out of there, and hit up the arcade game before we left. Had a great evening, we're ready to go back out. Hey, we had a great time bowling with friends and family, and I remember our two-year-old girl got to use the dino ramp for the first time. She was a lot better bowler than her mom was. 
No, I got it right. You did. I did. Not really. Now, whether you're hunting and creating a once-in-a-lifetime memory with a family member, or facing your fears of bowling in the dark, until next time, go to where you get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors. Get outside and enjoy God's great creation. And as always, have a better than average day. Music provided by Back Road Anthem and by Brian Matthew Ellis. I can use my hands, you know, I just, you know, I thought it was. <laughs> Hear my stuff now? Yeah. Your hair is my stuff. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Yeah, what are you doing, Susie? Oh no! It is cold. It is cold. Can we? Can we no, like let's not say we did. <laughs> Can you try not to. <laughs> While the boys are back there drinking their Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Now whether you're getting, now whether you're hunting, now whether you're hunting,